Hey guys, just thought I'd show you a little uh, video in case anybody out there is trying to print their own tiles or do some work with their miniatures and such. So uh, I've been printing a ton of tiles recently and uh, one of the things I wanted to do was to have them stick to metal bases so that they don't slide around. I didn't want to have to buy those metal, um, metal, those magnetic balls and put in these extra pieces underneath to kind of snap together and all that. And I don't like the, <coughs> sorry, the open lock crap where you gotta snap things together kind of like Lego and anyway long story short I bought these magnets as you can see um, and I tried two different kinds of magnets these uh, they were all bought on Amazon these were essentially uh, I guess I don't know maybe a quarter a half an inch square magnets already pre-cut they're quite thick uh, I thought they'd do the job so I started sticking a few of them here and there and they, they do work but I've also had a lot of them kind of come off after a day or two. As you can see, it actually holds the tile. And this tile is not very heavy at all. And, you know, you can move it around. So it's great, like, if you have, like, I have these metal trays, uh, kind of like these metal uh, sheets that we used to use for, for, for like, dinner placemats. Bought it at Ikea, I think. Anyway, um, the concept would be to put a bunch of tiles together. Like so. And you can see that uh, I could essentially pre-build sections of a dungeon or whatever, store it sideways, however I want. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I, these I kind of cut this one into well, two 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 pieces into into two, so there's like four pieces now. Uh, this one here is only one piece, so it's like a test. And one of the problems you can see is it's kind of wobbly because, of course, there's only one piece in the middle. So I thought, well, maybe I can do something like this, um, where I can have like these little dots, these little spacers, and that kind of does the trick. This doesn't really wobble anymore, and it does stick. But you know, doing the extra work of putting in these little dot things and um, it, it cost effective, not really. So anyway, I decided to try something different, and I ordered these magnets here. There's a bunch of them actually off of Amazon and um, there's 30 in a, sh in, a, in a package so I ended up ordering two packages and you basically have to cut them there's an unopened box or package so yeah you just basically have to cut them and they glued on so easily I just use you know regular knife uh, or whatever you uh, a knife but uh, box cutter and um just cut it and um <clears throat> so here's what's left of one sheet um as you can see it basically you peel off the back and this literally just goes on so simple so easy and it's not very thick so it doesn't really have that wobble issue and like i was showing you before i think here's my my sheet and i'll just attach it to that it's pretty awesome. This is a this is a big heavy piece. Here, here's another example. This is a, a, a heavier piece that I have, uh, about about the same size as the other one, but a bit more heavier. Uh, I did use the old the the first uh, magnets that I had bought that purchased. I had put five of them, and it too just sticks. Perfect. So this is great. I just thought I'd make this quick video in, in case anybody has tiles or a terrain of some sort or even miniatures. I mean, you can probably put them on the base of miniatures if you want. I won't do it because I, I like to see the, you know, I like to be able to read what's underneath the miniature. Although some of them don't. Yeah, they all have stuff underneath them listing their names and collectability and what whatnot. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Magnets, tiles, fantastic.